Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video we're going to be having a look at creating um, what I like to call an image hover text effect um, using HTML and CSS. Okay, so it was a bit hard to name that but essentially um, if I hover over this image right here we can see we get the text uh, coming up from the bottom and it's also placed on a uh, a semi-transparent black background okay so we're going to be creating this right here in today's video it's very easy to achieve and we've actually got uh, two extra versions of this so as we can see I've got this blurred version which means if I hover over it we can see the background becomes blurred so that is also very easy to achieve alongside this one right here which is just a solid color so um, the code used by all these uh, all these three styles are the same aside from um, extra CSS classes um, to just modify how these overlay so anyway uh, you can of course add your own styles also but I'm going to be showing you these three um, so let's go inside this tab right here and begin from scratch to of course create what we just saw so let's start with the HTML okay so inside the text editor uh, we can go inside the HTML I've just simply linked up a main.css file right here and of course it is empty so uh, back inside here uh, let's begin by creating essentially a main container around the image and the overlay so inside here we can just name this class image as a div okay inside here now we can specify both the actual image itself alongside um, the content inside the image or uh, inside the overlay so uh, we can say here uh, image okay with a source of let's just use here um, my bricks image okay um, alternative text equal to bricks okay and uh, let's give it a class let's give it a class of image underscore underscore IMG okay cool uh, so moving on uh, moving on to the actual overlay so for the overlay we can just make a new div with a class of image underscore underscore overlay and this right here now is going to contain both the actual title and the description so like we saw earlier we have the title here then the description just down here so back inside here we can make a new div for the actual uh, image underscore underscore title let's make this bricks and a paragraph for the image underscore underscore uh, description okay and we can just make this something like here we have a brick wall okay so now saving this and refreshing we get something like this okay so scrolling down we can see of course we have all of the content on the bottom so let's apply the CSS to of course transform this into this right here okay so back inside here inside the CSS uh, we're going to first target the image class the main container and we can say position equal to relative okay and also a width of let's just do 400 px okay so uh, right here um, with this position relative this just lets us position the overlay absolutely that way we can actually make it 100% width and height for the uh, for the opaque background okay um, with the width here though this is going to be up to you um, you want to use here what works best for your own situation in my case having a set width is going to work fine for this demonstration but maybe you want a percentage width or you want to have this inside a flexbox or a grid it is totally up to you okay so we are done with this uh, we can move on to styling up um, the image underscore image so the actual image itself so for this one we can just say display and make this block and this will eliminate a bit of space on the bottom um, which you find if you don't uh, include this right here um, a height so you know what a width of 100% right here just ensure that the actual the actual image takes up this 400 px width of the parent okay um, and that is all for the image so now saving this and refreshing we get something like this okay so now we're going to work on the actual overlay and we're going to be positioning it in the top left corner full width and full height okay so back inside here let's target the overlay okay and we can simply say position absolute which like I said earlier works with this one right here which allows us to say top zero and left zero okay then we can simply say width 100% and a height also 100% 
um, and we can also add here a background of RGBA 0 0 0 and then let's just do 0 0.6 for the alpha channel okay so here this will be a 60% opaque black um, you want to make this as high as possible that way your white text contrasts well and it is easily legible uh, let's make a text color also of white and we can save this and refresh and now we get something like this where essentially we have the background and everything is positioned in the top left corner full width and height okay so moving on let's center the text in the middle um, for the actual overlay so inside here we can use a display of flex okay now I might just go up here real quick and add a font family let's make this quicksand which is my decode font okay or the font I use for decode um, so you can of course uh, put your own font there uh, the display of flex allows us to uh, vertically and horizontally center the text there might be different techniques for this but in my case it works perfectly fine alongside this let's add a flex direction of column um, that way the text appears on top of each other uh, on top of each other just like that um, let's add an align items of center and a justify content also of center to vertically and horizontally center our text let's save this and refresh and now we have this right here uh, let's move on now to styling up the title and the paragraph itself so back inside here let's target the image underscore underscore title and for this one let's set a font size of two times the current font size a font weight of 500 or let's just do bold actually so a bold font weight works fine and for the image description uh, we can simply uh, we can simply increase the font size by 1.25 em and a margin top of 0.25 em uh, just to decrease the space between the title and the description let's refresh and now we have this right here okay cool so moving on let's work on the actual animations okay so or the actual transitions right um, back inside here we want to initially make the opacity of the overlay zero that way it is hidden by default okay alongside this we can add a image overlay here and we can make this colon hover okay so now when the image overlay gets hovered over uh, we are going to say opacity and make this one so now it should just simply show the overlay when hovering over so let's save this and refresh and now it is by default hidden if I hover over it we can see it comes back so now it's as easy as just simply adding a CSS transition to make it look smooth so back inside here let's add a transition to the overlay and we can just say um, let's just do uh, opacity at 0.25 seconds okay save this and refresh and now we get this right here it is now with a nice transition back inside here now let's move on to uh, making sure the actual text comes up from the bottom so to achieve this we are going to firstly uh, we're going to target image overlay we're going to be targeting every direct child of the image overlay so basically we're saying target the title and this and the description okay so for this we can say transform and we can say translate y at 20 px now it is going to be pushed down 20 px from the original position if i save this and refresh watch the text um, we can see it actually moves down okay so now we're going to simply use the same technique use a css transition to simply make it push up when hovering over back inside here we can just say transition make this uh, transform at 0.25 seconds the same time as the one just above here then we can simply just say when the image overlay gets hovered over we can once again target each one of our child elements and we can just say transform and set the translate y to be zero save this and refresh and now it should come up from the bottom and it's working perfectly fine so that is the base style the one I showed uh, right here so for these two like I said it's really easy we're going to be using a modifier class to achieve that so let's go back inside here and add a new CSS class for the image overlay 
uh, let's copy this, go down here now, and we can say image overlay dash dash blur. So for the blur style, we can simply just use uh, backdrop filter and set this to be blur at 5px. So this right here isn't actually, um, it, it isn't supported in many browsers or at least many old browsers, um, but it should work in most of the newer browsers. So um, don't stress if it doesn't work in the old browsers, it simply just won't work and everything should work perfectly fine anyway. So with that being said, let's just copy this class now and then paste it um, as a new class to the image overlay. So now we have image overlay and then image overlay dash dash blur. So now saving this and refreshing, we should see a blurred background when hovering over. And of course we do right there. Okay, sweet. So now for the final example, uh, the solid color, uh, it's gonna work in the exact same way. So we can just copy this right here and call this one primary for primary color and set the background to be uh, let's just do my 009578, my decode green color. Okay, um, so now back inside here, let's make this modifier dash dash primary. Save this and refresh, and now we can see we have the solid color on the background. So that right there is how to create an image hover text effect using HTML and CSS. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.